Hello, I'm naturopathic Dr. Anka Martelov, founder of Progressive Medicine Center from dranka.com and promedcenter.com. I'm so glad that you decided to take charge of your own health by joining my Healthy Through the Seasons Health Chart Challenge. Now, I know that you're coming at all at different levels, so I like to start with first talking about the foundations of health and then moving more to, to, towards seasonal topics like immunity, depression, anxiety, as these are the issues that I'm being bombarded with in my office. If you prefer me to, to talk about other topics, feel free to come on this page and tell me your troubles. I'm here to help you, but I need to know what your most pressing issues are right now. Now, obviously, we need to keep this discussion as general as possible, as this group cannot replace your individual treatments, but its purpose is to empower you to do as much as you can on your own. Because as I tell my patients all the time, the more you do on your own, the more you know your body, the more how it functions, and most importantly, the more you know how to listen to your body, the less I or any other doctor have to do. Which translates into the more you do, the less health is going to cost you. The less you're going to spend on health. Because here's the truth. Health is easy. Pathology and disease is complex and made even more complicated by the medical profession. So uh, today I want to ask you, when you think about the healthcare system, what images come to your mind? Hospitals, white coat doctors, nurses, pharmacists, I'm just curious. What images come to your mind when you think about the healthcare system? And please share with me, I'm curious about that. Um, what most people call the healthcare system is in fact a disease and trauma care system. Now we may take comfort knowing that when our body is in serious distress we have access to such marvelous amazing technology and expertise. But as a doctor for 20 years as well as a breast cancer and stroke survivor here's what I believe. No advances in medicine, grafts, bypasses, surgeries, transplants etc can compensate for the failure of the body, therefore the importance of prevention. So let me say this again, no advances in medicine can compensate for the failure of the body. Health isn't just the absence of apparent, dis apparent disease and disability. Health is a state of mind, body and spirit which allows for optimal function, repair, regeneration of, of all body cells, tissues and organ systems at all times. Health is that state that allows you to reach your full potential in life without limitations. Now I'd like to hear your, about your definition and your understanding of health. So please leave me your comments on this page. What does health mean to you? What does being healthy mean to you? Please share below, I'm very curious. So let's start by covering the three pillars of health. Why? Because your, when your health starts to crumble, it usually starts with one of these going out of balance. And because when you have all three, you are at your optimal health. Think about them as a three-legged stool. And the, 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 the stools are digestion, the digestive system, immune system, and nervous system. The, the digestive system, the gastrointestinal tract, if you really think about it, it's made up of the accessory organs like the liver, pancreas, etc. But it's basically a tube of the outside world just going through you. I mean, no wonder it gives us so much trouble, right? And when it doesn't work, you experience gas, bloating, heartburn, indigestion, pain irregular bowel movements, or more complex dysfunction like colitis, Crohn's disease, etc. Now I want to share with you one distinct feature of the, of the digestive system. You know how you have probably heard about the muscles, the more you, you work out, the, more, the better shape you're in. That works very well for the muscular system and the heart, the cardiovascular system. The digestive system is the exact opposite. If you want to regenerate it, you have to give it a rest. This is why fasting, specific enzyme therapy, 
and pre-digested medicinal protein shakes, medical foods work as therapeutics in certain cases to regenerate the, your gastrointestinal fat. Now the immune system. The immune system is that system, the part of you that is responsible for differentiating self from non-self. So it basically creates a, an invisible barrier between what's yours and what's not yours. And it's protecting you from the outside world. Now, the common knowledge is that the immune system is comprised of the thymus, the major gland of the immune system, lymph nodes, lymph glands, spleen, etc. But 90% of the immune system, the first defense immunity, comes from your intestinal tract, your gut. You know those good bacteria that you've been hearing about that, that line up the intestinal um, tract? That's 90% of your immune system. So if you want immunity, if you want to be protected from anything, from viruses to cancer, you have to make sure that that 90% of your immune, immunity, the uh, gastrointestinal immunity, works well. The nervous system. The nervous system is like your central computer responsible for all function, all bodily functions. And another component of uh, when I think about the nervous uh, system is the mind. And I want to share something about you, something very special that has served me very well in the last five years that I just learned in the last five years. And I have learned that thoughts amount to feelings. Feelings amount to actions, and actions amount to results. So if you don't are don't like something in your environment, some of your results, go back to your thoughts and change that. So if you want to be healthy, think and do like the healthy people. And that goes back to habits. That's another issue. I'm willing to put together a series just on healthy habits, including mine, if there's enough interest. So let me know about that. Now, I believe that you are what you eat and what you think. So what you think is very important for your health. When, when the nervous system is out of, out of balance, you feel overwhelmed, you have disturbed thinking, unclear, foggy, uh, you're feeling out of control. Now, next time i like to get more into de detail about each one of these. So please let me know which one troubles you the most of these three pillars. But for now, I like to hear your thoughts on health and these three pillars of health. And please leave me your comments on this page. I will read all of them and I will include um, I will include them in my in my next video. See you next week.